Hey guys, this is number 12 in a series. Um, number 12, The Water, who was given on 11 17 23. Um, Psalm 47, 1 and 2. As the deer pants for the water, so pants my soul after you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? So here are the words. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. What does this mean? Imagine. When does a deer pant? When he is of thirst. Why? Water is the natural replenishment for humans and animals. Water brings life to cells, refreshment and satisfaction, and it cools the body. Water also detoxifies and increases metabolic function. So you should pant after or seek in earnest after the living water for your soul. What is living water? My son's words are the living water. They bring hydration, satisfaction, and refreshment to the soul. They detoxify and increase spiritual function. Why? This is how humans were designed. To thirst for holy leadership. But if you thirst for it and you do not find it, you still thirst, just like a human body in a desert without water. Only those who drink of the living water liberally the words of Jesus can be refreshed and properly satisfied and detoxified and function properly. You could do a lifetime without spiritual refreshment from the living word. And when this occurs, a person will finally try and drink any and everything, but it does not refresh or bring satisfaction. But I designed humans to thirst after holy leadership. It is the only thing that brings true satisfaction by attaining the words and reading them and reading the words of Jesus this is the only way to true refreshment as the deer seeks after water this is how the author of this psalm felt the same passion of his soul to know and be refreshed by the Lord who is like the Lord no one I designed you and gave you the directions on how to be fulfilled. See that I have your best interest in mind. Here's the verses for number 12. John 1, 1 through 5, then skipping to 14, and then skipping 16 to 17. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, all things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life that was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, and his fullness we have all received, and grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Revelation 19.13 He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of God. John 7.37-38 and 38. On the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. So I hope you find that encouraging, and we'll see you next time.